I'm Patricia Pat Reed Leatherwood, and I mostly grew up in the Bell community. My early childhood was past Sally Bull. My grandparents lived at the foot of the Oak Ridge Hill. And my mother was Ruth Ward Reed, and my dad was D. Reed. We lived in houses that you can't even imagine what kind of house it was. <laughs> oh, we carried water, we had no bathroom, we had no electricity. You know, it was just typical little shacks. I was the oldest girl. I had a brother, or I had two brothers older than me. Mostly my dad farmed and we worked on the farm. I mean, we picked beans and my brothers plowed. We did whatever there was to be done. We played, we threw rocks at each other. We <laughs> and maybe we talked about that last night, but the rock fights we had when we were kids, how we lived through it. And we had what we call paddle wheels. It was a wagon, the hub off a wagon wheel and with a stick and a tobacco can nail to it. We rolled those wheels around. Of course we played tag and we did a lot of swimming. We were always close to a creek and we, we did a lot of swimming. Riches Creek, we had a good swimming hole there. <laughs> and even sometimes in the winter time we could ice skate some. Once in a while the creeks would freeze over. And the creek was between our house and the schoolhouse. Of course we all walked to school and we walked foot logs <laughs> then. We had just trees that were cut down over the creek and we walked those. So we had several accidents. <laughs> Usually it happened on the way home because if the creeks were up in the morning, we didn't go to school. We had cane poles or we had, sometimes we just had a stick with a straight pin on the end of it and the worm on that straight pin because fish hooks weren't that easy to come by. We caught crawdads, and there was an <coughs> elderly couple, I'll say. <laughs> Some of the people from Bell would go down to the creek, and we would go with them, or we'd go down there if we knew they were there, and we'd all catch crawdads, and they would cook the crawdads in a tin can. They'd build a little fire, and put the crawdads in the tin can, and we thought that was the best food in the whole world. <laughs> we fished a lot, and that was our holidays. My dad would load the wagon, and we'd put, you know, with the food and all the kids and some kind of bedding, and we would go to what we call the white van hole then and catch fish and camp out for a day or two. That, the only vacations we ever had. <laughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun, and a lot of people would go there, you know, it was, wouldn't just be us. I can remember my mom killing the chickens in the morning. She'd get up early in the morning and, and kill a couple of chickens and cook for breakfast, fry the chickens for breakfast. We'd have chicken and gravy and biscuits. And we picked wild onions and mushrooms, and. In fact, we still pick wild onions and mushrooms. We love, love them. And poke, wild greens. We picked a lot of wild greens. A few times I can remember we had cornbread for breakfast because we didn't have any flour. But I don't ever remember really being without food. When I was real small, I used to go with my grandmother down to the creek and we would catch the fish with our hands. There's no telling what kind of fish we ate, but whatever it was, whatever we caught, we ate them. I didn't, we didn't get to go that often. I think it, I think the movies were a dime back then. And uh, of course we had to pick strawberries and beans or whatever and earn our money to buy our shoes and clothes and whatever we had. We weren't, we weren't allowed to waste the money. But we did get to go to the movies once in a while, and get a candy bar, and they, I think they were three cents or something. So. 
but to us that was a lot of money, you know, when you pick strawberries for three cents a quart or whatever. <laughs> I can remember what I, having what I thought was pretty dresses made out of the flower sacks. And, uh, of course, they made the underwear and all, you know, when I got a second pair of shoes. So I had two pair, I can remember that very well. That was just so exciting because I had, uh, I can still see those little old shoes. They were patent leather with a strap across the top of them. I thought those were the most beautiful shoes I'd ever seen in my life. I picked strawberries for a man named Bethel Eubanks. I was like, this was, oh, the strawberry festival was in May and I would have been 10 in June. And the year before, <laughs> my friend and I threw strawberries and the row boss sent us home. I went back the next year and I was afraid that I was going to get sent home again. And I knew I was going to be in big trouble if I didn't pick strawberries. <laughs> so I saw this Bethel Eubanks coming through the field. And I thought, oh my gosh, he knows I'm here and he's going to send me home. And I can remember bending over that row and I was just doing it. <laughs> I would not even look up. <laughs> he walked up to where I was and he said, uh, how would you like to be Strawberry Queen? And I said, I, I don't know. And he said, and then he explained, we're going to have this strawberry festival. We're going to have a strawberry queen. And uh, I'd like for you to be the strawberry queen. And I said, well, I don't know. I don't got to ask my mom and dad. I couldn't, you know. So I went home and asked my mother. And she said, oh, that's silly. My dad came in and I told him. He said, you can be strawberry queen if you want to. He said, you go back tomorrow and tell him, yes, you can be strawberry queen. <laughs> So I went back the next day and I said, well, my dad said I could be Strawberry Queen. So I thought, well, I'm Strawberry Queen, <laughs> you know, here I am. <laughs> I spent the night with the Eubankses and I can remember them taking me to the beauty shop. They bought me a new pair of jeans and a shirt and a straw hat. It got me all dressed up to be Strawberry Queen. <laughs> And we went to the courthouse, and here's all these other girls that want to be Strawberry Queen. I thought, well, I, I'm the Strawberry Queen. <laughs> I just thought that was it. But anyway, they seated us on the front steps of the courthouse and used an applause meter. And that's how the Strawberry Queen was chosen that first year. I, I think being frugal for one thing was probably I mean I still I don't throw anything away I don't waste food I I still can food I have a little garden <coughs> I think we really enjoyed our childhood and I think uh, I think kids might be better off to have to go back and live like that for a while